is so different from them. Earth sun is younger and brighter than Krypton's was. The cells are drunk in its radiation, strengthening your muscles, your skin, your senses. Earth's gravity is weaker, yet its atmosphere is more nourishing. You've grown stronger here than I ever could have imagined. The only way to know how strong is to keep testing your limits. with my vision lately it's become quite blurry so this blurry with your spectacles? oh no no this is just uh, you know not prescription glasses as they call oh okay i see it, it, it hide my identity okay <laughs> okay so when will this blurriness get worse? yeah you see uh, because i work as a clerk uh, i did a lot of computer work I see. and usually uh, sometimes uh, when i did uh, like two three hours uh, i feel uh, like um, headache and also uh, Now, let's look at the eye examination results of Mr. Clark Kent. So here are the eye examination results and let's look at it in detail. First of all, we can see the convergence of the patient is within the normal range. Next, the amplitude of accommodation for the patient's right and left eye are also within the normal range for his age which is 21 years old. Next. We can see that the prism cover test reveals that the patient has autophoria at distance and also 4 isophoria at near. With the plus 3 lenses, the patient has 25 isophoria. This shows that the patient has higher isophoria at near compared to distance. Next, the AC ratio of the patient is also high which is 7 over 1. Both of these shows that the patient might have convergence access. Next, the subjective reflection reveals that the patient is actually immature. Therefore, this shows that uncorrected refractive error might not be the diagnosis for this patient. Next, we can see that the patient fails the binocular facility test. Next, the MEM also reveals that the patient has high lack of accommodation. Since the patient has isophoria at near, therefore, we should look at the negative fusional version reserves at near. So here we can see that the blur value of negative fusional virgins at near is exactly twice the near foria. So from all these findings, we can conclude that patient has convergence excess. Why convergence excess? Because patients with convergence excess will tend to have symptoms such as high strain and headache during or periods of near work. Next, 
They will also have difficulty to focus when reading. Other than that, patients with convergence access also will have occasional and intermittent diplopia and also will have blur vision during and or after near work. As we listened to Mr. Clark Kent's complaints earlier, he did mention all these symptoms. Next, let's look at the signs of convergence access. Patients with convergence access tend to have higher esophoria at near compared to distance. Next, patients with convergence access also will have IACA ratio with the calculated method. Other than that, they also fail the binocular facility test and also tend to have high lack of accumulation. Patients with convergence access also will have negative fusional virgins reserves at near smaller than twice the near foria. They also will have low NRA and PRA. So here we can see that the patient's findings does correlate with all the signs of convergence access. As all of you know, we had several differential diagnoses before we come up to our diagnosis for this patient, which is convergence access. Now, let's just see why the early differential diagnosis were cancelled out. First of all, it's unconnected refractive error. As you can see from this slide, the retinoscopy refraction shows right eye plus O50 with minus O25 stick and left eye plus O25 sphere. And the subjective refraction also shows right eye and left eye with plane. Next is right eye. But from the slimmer observation, the TBUT was normal. Thirdly would be computer vision syndrome. In this case, the patient claims that he works on computer for 7 hours per day with regular breaks. He also says the viewing distance from the eye to the keyboard is 70 inches, as well as from the eye to the computer monitor is 23 inches. He also says the workroom has a medium, uh, medium bright with fluorescent lighting. And everything, when everything is in normal limit, that is why it is not the differential diagnosis for this patient. Next would be convergent insufficiency. The cover test and prison cover test does not show high exophoria at near. The MPC also within the normal value. But the AC ratio is high as well as the MEM shows high lag. When for convergent insufficiency, is supposed to be low lead. The fifth differential diagnosis would be basic isophoria. But the cover test and prison cover test shows isophoria at near and autophoria at distant. Whereas in basic isophoria, it should be iso similar at near and distant. The filial version also shows normal. Next would be divergent insufficiency. It is not a diagnosis because cover test and prison cover test shows iso at near where it should be high iso at distance. Fusional version should be low but it is normal in this case. An ACA ratio should be low but here it's high. Finally, it would be accumulative disorder. The AA and the fusional versions are within the normal value. And the patient only fails for binocular accommodation facility, not the monocular. Most of the accommodative disorder will fail both binocular and monocular accommodation facility. Okay, so Mr. Clare, after I done after my examination, I concluded so you have converted access. So this converted access can be overcome by using added access when you're using your computer or other network. Okay, first we have to correct the refractive error that patient has and second, we give the added lenses to patient to manage First consideration in treating patient with convergent access is by correcting his refractive error. It is important to prescribe maximum plus if significant degree of hyperopia is present. After correcting the refractive error, added lenses, which is plus lenses at near, is given to eliminate the symptoms of convergent access. So, how much plus lenses should be prescribed? The prescription can be determined by calculating SCA ratio, using NRA-PRA relationship and MEM retinoscopy to know the amount of plus lens power. Due to high SCA ratio, plus lens at near is very effective to reduce or eliminate the near isophoria. Base out prism should be considered when a moderate to high degree of isophoria is present at distance. The decision to prescribe base out should be based on the present 
or absence of distant related symptoms. For vision therapy management is by using box string or push away exercise. These vision therapies apply when the patient does not feel comfortable with his or her spectacle correction or when near visual bridges and FV of the patient is Okay, so there is an extra tip to manage this patient. Since this patient is using computer in his daily work, he also might get CVS or computer vision syndrome. There are several tips to minimize the risk of CVS. Number one is proper lighting system, followed by computer positioning. Don't forget to blink and work break. Proper lighting system within the computer workstation area will enable the user to improve visual comfort and performance while eliminating annoyance and visual fatigue. An ideal environment will allow equalized brightness throughout the user's visual field. If there is excessive windows lighting, it should be filtered with blinds, window covering or window tintings. If bright spot in visual field cannot be avoided, shifting the workstation to a more favorable position may provide relief. Number two is computer positioning. Comfortable positioning can prevent pain in the back, shoulder, and neck. Thus, it is important to properly distance the monitor and maintain proper monitor height. Studies shown that by improving the physical ergonomics of computer workstation, discomfort can be reduced. Thus, improve workers' performance. Many studies suggest that distance of 35 to 40 inches may produce fewer complaints of visual strain. It is also recommended that the eyes need to be level with top of screen. Number three is don't forget to blink. According to Abdel Aziz et al., blink rate was reduced by half during computer operation. This can contribute to dry eye. Additionally, the environment where computers are located often have low ambient humidity or air conditioning, which can make dry eye symptoms becoming worse. To minimize dry eye symptoms, blink training can be done to increase blink rate during computer use. Other than that, lubricating eye drops also can minimize the symptoms. Number four is taking work break. Taking work break is also important. Long periods of works without breaks can make ocular symptoms such as diplopia, asthenopia, and headache becoming worse. Frequent breaks are recommended to restore and relax the accommodation system, thereby preventing eye strain. The use of visual hygiene can prevent visual fatigue. Visual hygiene or 20-20-20 rule is a short break that can be done in every 20 minutes of new work Take a 20 second of break by looking at something that is 20 feet away.